Hey everyone, welcome to another Easy Excel tutorial part of EasyProgramming.net. Today I want to quickly go over charts in Excel. Charts in Excel are actually pretty easy, fairly simple. Um, this will be part of a series of tutorials where I go over charts because although charts are simple, it can take a while to learn and there are many things that you can do with it including formatting. I will not go over formatting charts, just how to quickly enter your data and create a chart in Excel. Um, this table right here may look familiar to you. I did this in the easy formatting tutorial as well where I showed you how to quickly format any table to look professional in just a few minutes to look presentable rather. I'm reusing the data uh, so if you follow that tutorial you can just pull that pull that spreadsheet up and start working on it right now. So we'll create a quick chart here. Uh, charts in Excel have gotten much easier over the years. If you remember from earlier versions of Excel, you may need to know exactly which which data you want to be in. You want it in the columns, which data you needed to be in the rows, as well as calculations if there needed to be. We're not going to do any calculations today. Uh, just like Excel 20, 2007 and 2010, charts are in the insert category. Just like a few of the previous versions, all you need to do is just select the data you want to put in a chart, just like I did here from the row headers, the column headers in this case, to the row headers, and the data. In the Insert tab, there's a Charts section where you have several charts that you can... We have several options for your charting. Uh, this is new here in Excel 2013, Recommended Charts. Uh, what it says right here is want us to recommend a good chart to showcase your data. This is where Excel tries to see how smart it is to try to recommend a chart for you. So if you click on recommended charts, uh, you can see that most of these are bar charts. Some of them are, this is a scatter plot. Uh, if you go to the all charts tab here, you have something that may look familiar to you from previous versions of Excel, where it gives you a list of all the different types of charts, column, line, pie, etc. Uh, and the different layouts for them. Like we have the clustered columns here, we have the stacked columns, 100% stacked columns, the 3D clustered columns which is popular, um, the 3D stacked columns, the 100% stacked columns, and the 3D columns which is really really 3D. The new thing about Excel 2013 is that if you hover your mouse over this pre uh, over, over the, the chart it gives you a preview of what the data will look like so you can see what it looks like before you even click OK. Um, so this is what it will look like if we selected this 3D chart, 3D um, chart here. Uh, if we go over to pie chart, this is what it will look like. It may not make as much sense. Choosing a chart is completely up to you. Only you can decide what kind of chart would look best with your data. Uh, a column chart may not always work. Pie charts may not always work, especially since they're always out of 100%. That's how pie works. So in this sense, it may not be worth getting pi unless you're doing, let's say, you have a total of IT and you're doing just a pie chart of IT to see which month has percentage of the total in January, in IT, or total in January for the different departments. Make sense? If it doesn't, feel free to ask. Uh, it's just some basic math. Uh, if you don't want to click on the recommended charts, you can also click on the views here. If you click on the chart view, the drop down list, uh, it gives you a preview of what the chart will look like. So you get a much bigger view. This is what we are going to eventually do. Uh, you also have pivot charts, which I will go over in a later tutorial. Uh, you can also click on this little pop up button right here. It gives you the insert chart options as well, all charts. So let's just do a column chart and a 3D cluster, cluster column. So look, it looks really pretty. It already looks presentable. This is something that you can present to your boss or your, your class if you're presenting. Uh, the chart title is not filled in. Unfortunately, if I select the chart title in the data here, it won't get, uh, it won't come over to the chart title here. So we'll have to actually, I'm just copying and pasting over. Control C, Control V. And this is what it looks like. Easy, right? Again, I clicked column. You can always uh, change the type of columns, change of the type of uh, chart you want. So if I wanted to do a 3D bar graph instead, I can do that as well. 
it started making it a, a vertical columns. It's a horizontal columns. This sort of looks like it changes automatically. You don't, you don't have to delete and recreate. Uh, if you want to do a scatter plot, that's a 2D line graph. Right. There you go. You don't have to do anything. Pretty much. You just have to select the data and select the type of chart you want. Uh, well, there you go. This is just you know one part of uh, easy charts. The next thing I want to show you is this little pie chart here. This uh, little the second spreadsheet that I'm working on. Uh, the reason I said this is because, uh, like I said, the type of chart depends on what you want to do. Uh, I'm working with percentages here, so what will and only one type of activity, one type of column, and a category here. So it, this type of chart will look best in a pie chart. I mean, in a pie chart. So let's do a pie chart here. You can do a 3D pie chart. Activity. Right, and then eat, sleep, eat, work, play, commute. It all breaks down into from 100%. This equals 100%. You can do the math if you don't believe me. Um, uh, I'm not sure if you've done this in past versions of Excel, but you can actually control, you can actually pop a piece of the pie out. So if you just click on a piece, uh, this separated the whole thing. Uh, it's because everything was selected, but you can select just one piece of the pie. Uh, right now, nothing is selected. So if I click on this little blue, you'll see that. Yep, right here. You can only see. You can see that these little selectors is selecting the blue right here. So I can actually pull the blue out. And you see the little marquee here that it's actually pulling the blue out. I can do the same thing with all of them. If you select out and you select back in, you can actually control the whole thing, so you can make all of them pop out. There you go. Oh, well. Yep, it's still selecting one because I separated them. But there you go. You can always put them back together if that's what you want to do. This is some cool things you can do with the pie chart. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'll go over formatting of charts. Uh, there are a lot of formatting options here, and Excel 2013 makes it much easier to do, including these charts right here. I'll go over this a little quickly, and then in the tutorial after that, I will cover some shortcuts of how to do these charts really, really quickly, much faster. Thanks for watching. Uh, come back for the next tutorial. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. If you have any suggestions for future tutorials, please feel free to suggest. Remember to subscribe.